By car as well as by bus, hundreds continue to arrive in Niger's second city of Zander, fleeing the fighting between the military and Boko Haram along the border with Nigeria. A bomb fell right by my house. The shop burnt down and a child was killed. It's really hard. There's nothing to eat. We have no clothes. What I'm wearing now was given to me. Local authorities estimate that 10,000 people have arrived in the town from the Difa region in recent days, many simply passing through. For those that remain, some have nowhere to go, but most have found refuge with family and friends. In total, 42 people from my family came here, and I welcomed them into my home. My neighbours have also made some space available, so now I'm taking care of them all. But with the influx of new arrivals comes a very real security threat. Officials say dozens of suspected members of Boko Haram have been arrested in Zander in recent days, where it's feared they would carry out an attack. On the outskirts of Zander, police carry out searches of all vehicles entering from the east. Goods are inspected, others pulled aside for questioning. Those recruited by Boko Haram in the Difa area, these are the same people as those you find in Zinda. And the operation underway in Difa has enabled us to understand the extent to which the evil of Boko Haram has entered our society. Aisha too has recently made the 400-kilometer journey to Zander from Difa with 25 members of her family. After surviving a recent attack by Boko Haram, she says she will never return. A bomb exploded and the blast made a very loud bang. We all wondered what was that, and very soon everything went dark. A few moments after the explosion, I realized that of the people who'd been around me before the explosion, some had severed arms and legs, others hit in the stomach. At that moment, I thought I saw around 25 wounded, who were then taken to hospital in the town. One child died in the attack. Aisha too still has nightmares, but at least she now feels safe. Until now, the city has kept at arm's length the menace from the east. Everyone here prays that that is where it will remain.